Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 23, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we will start by looking at the Great British Pound and... Uh, of course, the U.S. dollar appreciated significantly today. We're um, up over half a percent, and that is quite a lot. Um, so that has also affected these currency pairs significantly. As you can say, we have been back and forward uh, quite a bit in the Great British Pound, the U.S. dollar. So we fell eventually towards the 40 uh, exponential moving average and then rallied. And at this point, we are right underneath or right at the 20 exponential moving average at this point i think that we are going to go higher in this currency pair the us dollar will start depreciating again when it basically hits uh, is resistant which is not far off at this point so it may take one or two trading days but we may just uh, be sticking around here for uh, for tomorrow's session and um, afterwards, when the US dollar starts to depreciate again, this will rally significantly. And our target at, the, at that point will be 1363. If you look at the technical indicators for this currency pair, they are looking dreadful at this point. Uh, MACD is, uh, is bearish, the RSI is flat, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is bearish, and um, the Bollinger Band, we're basically right at the 20 moving average. So... I do not favor the downside at this point. We have tried it twice significantly here, and then we have rallied. So that's an indication that there is a strong uh, support underneath uh, right here, and that usually means that we are going to go higher. So a pullback here is a buying opportunity. Target is these previous highs and beyond that. So if you look at the US dollar, uh, Japanese yen, you can see um, that we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential. We'll probably go further. We'll probably go all the way up towards the 50 moving average. And that is basically where you can enter for a short. We have been in this uh, downward channel for um, since, Feb uh, since March. And uh, every time we get close to the upper channel, we can sell. Every time we get close to the, uh, the lower channel, we can basically uh, we can basically buy. At this point, we're right in the middle, but the 50 moving average has been significant resistant. So getting close to that is a basically a selling opportunity. It is also possible to sell here at the 20 exponential or the 40, but the gains are not that high and you also run the risk of getting stuck if this trade goes the other way. But the best entry is basically up here at the 100 moving average or this upper trend line. Technical indicators for this currency pair are looking very favorable to the upside, and therefore I would expect this to move slightly higher than we are at the moment. MACD is turning around, uh, RSI is positive, it's uh, bullish, the same goes for the CCI, same goes for the stochastic, and there's a lot of room to the upside in the bullish band. So expect this to rally to the upside, but pay attention to the US dollar. As soon as that uh, turns around, this will basically fall. So let's look at euro, US dollar, and this is probably one of the, um, well, one of the trades that I will enter because this is basically setting up to be a really, really good trade. At this point, we have the 20 exponential, which has been resistant for uh, support for a very long time. We tested it yesterday, rallied. We're probably going to test it tomorrow as well. And I would not be surprised if we broke below the 20 exponential and then rallied above it uh, later on. Technical indicators for this currency pair are looking fairly dreadful at this point, so it will take time. But this is a this is a currency pair that will most likely go higher when the US dollar starts depreciating again. So we were significantly overbought when we were over here. That's why we had this massive fall. Um, at this point, the MACD is um, bearish, the stochastic is bearish, the CCI um, is bearish, and so is the RSI. We are basically right here at the 20 moving average. A break of the 20 moving average opens the door to the 40. I don't think that we're going all the way down to the 40. We may cross the 20 and then rally above that. So 
if you look at um, lower time frames, you will basically see when the uh, rally will start. So the target is basically these previous highs and then towards the 12.3.0.0. So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. This is very similar trade. Um, the 20 exponential has been very supportive. We tested it yesterday, rallied above it. Now we broke down again today. And this is a very similar trade to the euro or US dollar. When these technical indicators start to turn around, they we needed a pullback because we were significantly overbought. We were, I think, at the 85 in the RSI. We're at 61 at this point. So we may go below the 20 exponential, probably hit the 40, but this is uh, a trade that you should buy. Uh, the basically the lower it gets the or the cheaper it gets the the more you should buy of it the target is these previous highs here at the 0 0.60 uh, 76 so let's look at the us dollar canadian dollar and as well here we have been in downtrend for a very long time we are having a major pullback here and the bigger the pullback, well, the better the trade. Uh, we have found resistance here at the 40 exponential at uh, 1.292. And at this point, we just need uh, stochastic to turn around and then we can start shorting this. If you look at, for example, the two hour chart in the stochastic, we can see that it is crossing the signal line in the two hour chart. So this is, it has already started to um, decline. And uh, that is what we are going to see in the daily chart, probably not tomorrow, but but um, in one or two trading days from now, we're going to see this turn around. If we could get all the way up to the 50 moving average, that would be amazing. Technical indicators for this are still fairly bullish, but we're hitting the top of the bullish band. That's also another sign that we are about to turn around here. We may stick around for a while and then go and test these previous lows so these lows here are the target um, and the, basically the higher this rallies the better the short so there has been a lot of action here there are some other currency pairs that i usually don't focus on that are also looking very interesting for example us dollar uh, swedish crown um, it has been in a downtrend for a very, very long time. We can go all the way back to April, March. It has been on this downtrend. And uh, the 20, 20 exponential has been very resistant. We tested it yesterday, broke down significantly. We are about to go and test it again. So this may take a few days, but yet again, the closer we get to the 20 or even the 40, uh, the better the short actually. So the target is basically 8.26, uh, that is the target. And if we get somewhere around here, all the way down to that level, that's um, that's roughly 1.74%. Uh, so that is a fairly good trade. But these technical indicators are just about to turn around. So that may take a few trading days. So when you see the basically the stochastic turning around and the CCI is turning around, that is basically when you could start shorting this or when you get close to the Bollinger Band here, the middle of the Bollinger Band, and you see that is starting to show weakness, then you can start shorting. The same for the US dollar uh, Norwegian crown. It is even better. We are. Uh, it is very similar. We have been in downtrend for a very long time. The uh, 20 exponential has been very uh, resistant. And at this point, we're testing the 20 exponential. We may rally even further towards the, the 40 exponential, but this is almost a guarantee when the US dollar starts to depreciate again, both the US dollar Swedish crown and the US dollar Norwegian crown will start uh, falling again. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see your newest videos, and you can well, you're welcome to join us or our Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.